What's going on everybody? I've got a little unboxing video today or unpackaging. Um, right here we have something from Revo. I've seen some uh, other videos and they had like a, a box, something similar to this, cardboard or paper and it would fold up. It was cool. It had a little magnet I believe or maybe it was just a flap. But uh, from then to now they look like they came out with these cases which is pretty cool it says Revo across the front it's even got a little stray hair here so you can go ahead and try the knife out and make sure that it uh, cuts right so let's open it up and check it out we've got silica pack keep it dry got a little pamphlet with some information a nice little decal this is just some general information warranty information and stuff about the company itself it's got pictures that are other knives we'll get to that in a little bit but here the knife is and uh, I think it's pretty sexy nice little case um, according to the packaging, which I thought this was blue, and in the other videos I've seen, other people have spoke on it, but this is gray. So if you like this color, then you're looking for the gray. I would call it blue. Same color as my phone case, and my phone case is blue. But anyway, regardless of the color, if you gotta stab somebody, I promise you they don't care if it's a uh, black or blue or purple or whatever you're cutting nice little action it's got some ball bearings in it um, and some of the other videos I've watched um, people had different opinions of what the blade steel was the most recent one said that it was D2 it's listed D2 so I don't know if they were making it in a different steel and now it's made in D2, but in my next video on this knife, I will go ahead and try to get a little bit more information. This is just a general unboxing, just a quick look. See, the blade shape is a Nesmuk, and this is a Revo Ness, so the name is corresponding with the blade shape. Um, your pocket clips on the right hand side. There's not a place to put it on the left. So if you're left-handed or you want to put it in your left pocket, then you'll just have to spin it around before you open it. All right. Good little action. Got the frame lock. I've had no problems with it. I watched a, a video of some other people take it apart and put it back together and they had issues because they didn't put it back together correctly but anyway so just for comparison I grabbed a few knives out of a drawer here's a small knife and a medium knife so it's quite larger than a small a little bit bigger than a medium sized knife I would say so I would call this a large knife, but as opposed to this one, it's got this nice groove in it, fits well in your hand. We got the extra, extra large here, so, but anyway, it's a nice size, good large knife, fits well in the hand, you know. If you need to cut something, you're not going to be dropping it, slipping away. It's got a good G10 grip on it, which I prefer. It's got G10 on both sides. I know a lot of them now, they have the metal on the back, G10 on the front. This one has G10 on both sides. Back is hollow, as opposed to something like this. As I was saying, G10 on the front metal on the back 
It's got a good shape. It's kind of thin, so it's not too hard to grip. It's got a good grip on it. Um, as far as a general, just unboxing and looking at it, it looks really good. It feels really good. It's pretty solid. Um, price range is between 65 and 80 bucks. I've seen it on a few different places on the internet. If you go to RevoKnives.com, they have a few different things for sale. And uh, Blade HQ has this. I want to say they have it in this gray, black, and uh, maybe like a tan or like green color. I'll have more information when I make another video. I just wanted to get this out of the box and show it to you guys. I got the R for Revo on it. Some other people made a joke saying it was all for right-handed. But it's really good looking. I, I can't uh, make any complaints on the look. Feels good. Here are a couple of their other knives. Got a little karambit, a smaller size knife. Want more curve. I've seen this one. This is kind of like a utility knife, something for like firefighters and cops. You know, they might want to carry to cut a seat belt or, you know, if you're going to cut something open. Um, There's just a bunch of general information. If you want to look at it, you can go ahead and pause the video. Here's their information for their Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So you can check them out if you haven't already. And like I said, I'll have another video soon. We'll go ahead and take this and maybe see if we can cut a phone book with it. Um, go ahead and cut some paper, you know, general stuff, maybe sharpening it. And after I, I use it for a while, you know, carry it for a couple of weeks, I have another video describing, you know, what I think of it. But it's got good action and it's got a really nice blade. It's got a little stone wash on it. Looks good. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Go check them out. It's nice budget friendly you know 65 bucks compared to you know some other ones out there for 150 125 and this one looks better than a lot of them so check them out if you haven't already